everybody, it's Jeff Williams with Team Catfish. Thanks for watching our videos. Today I want to talk to you about what I like to do uh, with my Secret 7 dip bait in cold water versus warm water. Okay, we get questions asked to us all the time about what size of bait holder I should use, uh, how big a bait should I use, should I use a, a two dip tubes, one dip tube, a furry thing, whatever it might be. And I can tell you this, from, from years of dealing with customers and watching them use our bait and years of my own experience, um, I can tell you that when you get into cold water, manufactured bait will still work, absolutely without a doubt. You can still target channel catfish with manufactured bait, but you have to downsize your bait. A lot of people go out with manufactured bait and they think, oh, I'm just going to do this and I'm just going to throw it in the water and everything's going to be great. And some days it truly is like that. But this is just like anything else. It's just like an angler learns how to cut up shad. Some days that catfish wants a small piece of shad. Some days he prefers a shad fillet. Some days he can eat shad heads, shad guts, shad tails. It doesn't matter, but good anglers learn to recognize what the fish are telling them from day to day. And the one tip that I can tell you is most of the time in cold water conditions, 45 degrees or colder, your fish want a smaller presentation. And the reason for that is because their metabolism is slower. When the water gets cold, the fish's metabolism slows. They don't need as much food to survive with a slow metabolism in hot water they have a lot higher metabolism and they'll be looking for a bigger bait to satisfy their appetite. So one of the things that I like to do with this bait in cold water is I will take our dip tubes and I will take our dip tubes and I will cut them in two or three little pieces. Sometimes I might only fish with one third of a dip tube on a small hook with this bait if I'm fishing in creeks or streams. And that's a tip that I want you to put in your tackle box because uh, the, the warmer the water, the bigger the bait, the colder the water, the smaller the bait, and then pay attention to what those fish are telling you. Sometimes if you're having a hard time hooking fish, go down to a smaller bait. Sometimes if those fish are running away with everything you got, you might want to put on a bigger bait to see if there's a bigger fish looking for a bigger bait in your area. I'm Jeff Williams with TeamCatfish.com. Thanks for watching our videos.